That's in. We're at part two here in Winter Haven, Florida. So oh, this is, this is my backyard. This is where I try to keep most of my good stuff that I don't want people stealing. I mean, I, I keep mangoes in the right. front yard, but you know, yeah, I try to keep my good stuff back here. But, okay, um, all right, okay. This is a June plum. Okay. I I really don't like the fruit on this. Like, I mean, I don't. People eat it like green. I, I can't do it. It's popular in Central America and stuff like that, but. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. You know, some people like green mangoes. And yeah. Stuff. I'm I just have not a big fan of green. Fruit. I have to wait till this turn deep yellow, almost and orange. Sometimes they taste okay. And mm -hmm. then sometimes I'm just like, even when they're yellow, it tastes weird. Like I'd rather just get a pineapple. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. I might. Yeah. I'm going to get it out of here. Oh, goodness. Look over here. Um, yeah. So I got a bunch of different Jabotacabas and okay. Eugenias and stuff like that. Okay. Um, wow. I have a bunch of Potomba. Okay. Um, got some. This is uh, plenty of Obongata. This one's kind of cool. It has such a, just a horizontal growth shape. Okay. But okay. Um, yeah, I got Grimmel Jodacabas, uh, Sabras, Batanga Tuba. Okay. Scarlets, Blue Jodacabas. Oh, wow. You get when you get into these. I mean, you go crazy. You uh, can with the Jabota Cabas. Yeah, you gotta gotta call a line at a certain. Point. Yeah, you better you believe it. Wild. Have y'all been to Flying Fox? Oh yeah, I bought some stuff from him. Yeah, I bought seeds from him before. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean we're on YouTube, man. We, yeah. We watch. We, yeah. we watch people. You know? Okay. 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 Um, this is a Monroe avocado, and yeah, we got freaking Everglades tomato. That thing is just yeah, they it's go a crazy, weed, man. Like yeah. Yeah, they go they go crazy. Just love them. Um, oh man, look at this setup back here. Yeah, oh, this is so cool. I'm starting a bunch of these are a bunch of seedlings. I'm starting for either like rootstock or you know some of them. Uh huh. Are just starting from seed like different Eugenias and stuff. But I'm trying to get a lot of mangoes going. Okay. Yeah, um, that's what that's the way Valencia, to go. Valencia Pride, right? Here. Big tree. Big tree. Yeah, I know. It's it was kind of sleeping for a little bit, but now it's like really just it's kind of taking off now. Yeah, they they will. Beautiful fruit though. Beautiful. Look yeah. like it's being pretty productive for you. This is our first year. Oh, okay. Everything we have that's fruiting like right now for mangoes, this uh -huh. is our first year. Oh so, wow. Like, I'm pretty happy with our first year. Um this is kind of cool. This is a Cuban mango steam. Oh. Uh, okay. Really I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that one. Yeah. Right now, I actually I've heard the fruit's not like too good on it. Too good. So okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we got. So oh this is my this goodness, weird, so dude! The, this is like some Cold War era bunker or something. Okay. Like there's actually like you can go down in there and um. Oh. I'm really? guessing it was like built as like a bomb shelter during the Cold War era. Okay. But um, so like I can't really bulldoze this or take this out. So. Yeah. Put some Jamaican cherries up there. Oh and, wow. You know they're. They're doing their thing. The tree's loaded. Yeah, and I have to trim that one to keep it out of the power line. Yeah. Because it's just. Y'all, y'all eat them pretty regularly. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they are something else. Wow. Um, this is beautiful back here. Got some lemon drop mango steams over here. Okay. Okay. Lemon drop mango steams. Okay. Um, what? Watch your step. We do got our dogs back here, but it's. Okay. All right. This is a um. This is Lancetia. Oh, big so, fruit. I, yeah, I know. I hear people say mixed things about it, but, and I want to keep it around just because the resin smelled so good on yeah. it. Like, I'm sure it tastes good. <laughs> and then, um, I put a uh, sweet tart graph. Okay. Like, I'm trying to, like, get a couple more. Graphs, sweet so tart. Like, you can't go wrong. Um, <laughs> this is my Sabra. Sabra. Okay. Yeah, this. Jabbo. Sabra Jabbo. It's, it's okay. getting big. I'm, I, I want to eat the fruit. I thought it was going to maybe do it this year. But Beautiful. Be Ooh, this tree this is, is so This is a climb up. Okay. So this is a jackfruit relative. Okay. And um, Interesting. Yeah, now I, now I you got know, my ear. I know jackfruit fruits quick from like a seed or whatever. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I really want to try this one because I don't I don't see it too often. Okay, I'm gonna have to research that one. I, that one yeah, it lose me. Uh, that that name. It's K W A I. Okay, K W A I. N U K. Okay, all so right. Some kind of Asian. Cool, cool. That's gonna get it. Oh, uh, this is our Carrie. Carrie. Oh yeah. yeah. Got a couple okay. Carries hang on here. All right, that's the and wife's I got these favorite. Bags on here, and 
you know, I know like squirrels can just come and rip through them. Mm -hmm. But um, it's still a deterrent. If though. it's a deterrent, like mm -hmm. just slightly. But no, we also have like a ton of leaf footed bugs in our yard. Mm -hmm. And like, like to where last year, I mean, they almost got all the Jamaican cherries we had. Wow. Like it was that bad. Really? So, I mean, I just don't want them come in and piercing the mango. Yeah. And then maybe cause causing like fungus wow. to happen or disease or yeah something. i don't blame you and carrie was my wife number one for years I like carrie, uh yeah. until she met fruit punch oh, then she really? divorced carrie yeah, <laughs> I, like, I like carrie carrie's a cool mango because you can just eat it at so many different stages yeah. of ripeness and it tastes good like it tastes good when it's kind of green it tastes good when it's really ripe mm -hmm. yeah uh, this is buttercream buttercream oh this is our truly tiny mango that's like it got hit by that like freeze, so it kind of like it's kind of stunned. It kind of got stunned, but there's some tiny bananas on there. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, Cogs Hall mango. Okay, all right. Yeah, the beautiful to get some blush on there. Yeah, the beautiful mango. That's a beautiful tree, man. They, they're oh, yeah. beautiful. We've done a lot of work shaping our trees and trying to create a lot of lateral branches that way. Cause I mean, I plan, I'm going to come, I'm going to prune these heavy every year. Yeah. Um, Have you ever gone to Matt Reese's? No, I haven't. Uh, that will be a good, a good spot for y'all to go to, man. His place is. Yeah, no, yeah. I haven't, I haven't been down there. Yeah, I've seen some of his YouTube videos though. Yeah, he's so cool, man. I mean, no, I, yeah, I've seen his setup. It looks, it looks wild. Out yeah, there. yeah. Like that's, it actually, that's, like, is, that's my dream stuff right it's there. It's similar to this, uh -huh. but on a larger scale. Yeah. Your yard looks like his yard, uh -huh. except his is on yeah. a larger scale. Yeah, my yard's like kind of like, I it mean, is it's, cool. It's sort of like a mix between permaculture and then actually just looking nice, you know. Yeah. We got dogs <laughs> that like run out here, you know. Look, so bro, like, I know, I got it. Like, and I'm more of a fruit person. I haven't gotten into like the perennial vegetables and stuff. I'm okay, just, I'm in love with the fruit. Yeah. This is our um. Uh, lemon meringue. Oh, 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 oh. wow! We just put a step. We just grafted a step mango on here. Okay, all and right. I put orange essence on here too. So I figured I'd just. I haven't had orange essence, but I love orange sherbet. Mm. Like orange sherbet is like my mango. Oh uh, yeah, orange sherbet is the bomb. Orange essence, it it just blows you away with the firmness. It's like a dwarf Hawaiian. It's like an apple. Really? The yeah, the yeah. Uh, take take the the sweetness and the flavors of the orange uh, sherbet, mm -hmm. dial them down just a tad, and make it firm. Uh, yeah, real uh, good, real this different. This is our M4 mango, and it's just it sets so much fruit for its size, but yes, it does. I don't really care. I'm because I got so many mangoes in my yard. I'm not like I'm not stressing like losing production on one tree no. for one year. Man, y'all won't be um, disappointed. And then I have a soursop right here. Soursop. I was kind of mess with. I'm really messing with soursop. Like it's my goal to fruit one of those. Mm -hmm. Like where we live. And yeah, I have a friend in um, uh, Kissimmee, Florida, uh -huh. and he has one. They fruit every year. Oh, but okay. he he so has he so has it. Yeah, strategically that planted. Me, um, that gives me hope. Awesome. Yeah, he has it on the east side of the house. Right next to the AC unit. Oh, okay. So it's getting sun and the heat yeah. from the unit. So this is like, this yeah. is our north, like right here. So I got like, my northwest is these huge trees. So I mean, it's a little bit of a block, but. It is. It is. The something. fence and all. Y'all will see when you come to Orlando this and visit is, my um, place. You'll see it. Oh, yeah. No, I'll definitely come over there and check it out, man. This mm -hmm. is our uh, Maha Chinook. We had to replace that one because. I killed that one. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, I live in Winter Haven. We had that crazy freeze yeah. this year. Yeah. Um, and you can see, like, all my mangoes are looking really good. But I had two mangoes that basically got really hurt. And that was because I covered them the wrong way. I actually put, like, a sheet on top of the mango. Yeah. And, and didn't build a structure. Yeah. And I just came outside in the morning, and it was just frost. Yeah, it'll ice. happen sometime. It, this it is will. The, um, Fairchild. I love this mango. This is a... I don't, I'm surprised I don't hear people talk about it more. Yeah. yeah. I, I really like this one. And I mean, it's a dwarf mango too. Yeah. But it's, it's a good, it's a good fruit. Um, uh, I mean, my friend, um, up in, um, Ocala, mm -hmm. she's big on this particular. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Audrey. She's, she's intense. Man. Yeah. She's yeah. She's like the mango. Yeah. Like, she's doing it though. Look, she came to my it's house crazy. when she came to my house and looked at the backyard. She was like, okay. I'm going back up there, and I'm just going to 
do it. Wait, that's she awesome. saw your backyard and oh that's... yeah, oh, yeah, no way. yeah, yeah, yeah. She she accredits uh, uh, <laughs> my channel for making her an addict. <laughs> hey, well, no, I mean honestly, like watching all you guys mm -hmm. on YouTube, that got me. I mean, I learned so much from watching y'all, and then yeah, you know, I mean, I wouldn't know what I know. Yeah, well, being in the community. Well, we're still, we're still we researching. Uh, we still is learning. Malika. This one got hit hard. Malika. I mean, it's got one fruit. I, I imagine that one. I'm gonna tell you what they one. told me. Look, don't give up on it. Even if the fruit tastes oh, kind of funky for a couple yeah. of years, it took uh, five years for mine to change. Uh -huh. I went and uh, talked with Cicada Grove, and we talked about it. And I just waited, and finally, all of a sudden, last year. Uh huh. Yeah, see, that's... Like, oh, I know, dug that's, this thing up. I feel, this, I feel the same way, because, like, I don't like judging a mango if I've had it one time, because, like, I don't know when it was picked. Yeah. What stage of ripeness, because all that stuff matters with the flavor. And this one, it seems to really matter. Cause it I've does. Because I've had some funky... Yeah. Malikas. Yeah. But, like... <laughs> I've Me had too. some funky Malikas that, like, I literally didn't even eat. Yeah. Um, like, man, why did I get it? <laughs> uh, this is uh, Adamoya. I got a Geffner. Okay. And, Lisa, right here. I have a Lisa. Dream, I have a Dream Adamoya and a uh, Priestley too. Okay, I've been looking for Dream. Um, okay. I'm gonna be grafting some of these. Um, yeah. Eventually, not right now though. It yeah. takes time when you're doing all this crap. It does. It is doesn't happen overnight. Right, right, um, right. Well, y'all are doing a wonderful job, man. This is absolutely beautiful. I yeah. could just sit back well, here. I mean, we love it. You know, for when, you, hours. when you like what you do, it's mm -hmm. it's a whole different. Yeah, thing, you know? completely different. Um, this is our uh, Ned Doc My number four. Oh, okay. You do good now. You better do good for them. Well, you I, better. You know, I hear people say they're not productive. Oh man, <laughs> I'm actually not a big fan of Ned Doc My. Yeah, me it's, either. It's like, no, I no, I mean that's like this is one of the first mangoes that I I got. I think because me it too. was just so popular. Everyone was like Ned Doc My, Ned Doc My, and then uh. I don't know. I mean, you got to eat this one green. Like you have to like eating green mangoes. And I wanted to get sourness. I like, wanted to get rid of my tree. Uh -huh. It was the. I got three trees when I first started. I got three mango trees, and my name dot my was one of them. And I really wanted to get rid of it. Didn't like it. I didn't like the production. Didn't like the flavor. Mm -hmm. And then I went to a mango tasting in Winter Park, Florida, mm -hmm. and they had a uh, ripe, right before ripe, past ripe. And I got the right before right. Mm -hmm. I was like, it was good. I found it. Yeah. That's oh, mine. Yeah. That's for my palate. Yeah. I'm like, the tree is saved. <laughs> I know. They get a little bit of funk too when they get right. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And just, it's just really sweet. There's not a lot of complexity for me. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Ooh, this looks familiar. Ice cream. Okay. This one's always like, I mean, it's got the smaller leaves or whatever. Okay. This is our orange sherbet. I so. thought so. So I or, thought so. Let me is, get a wide view of that. He's <laughs> a monster. I mean, I've had this thing so many times. And look, I haven't had these trees in the ground for that long. Like, I right. mean, this one's been in the ground for two and a half, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. and, and it's been topped multiple times. I've mm -hmm. pulled the branches down to sure. like, and, um, but hey, I mean, it's. Bro, it's, it's worth one, it. Yeah, it is. It it's is. worth it. And I mean, I got. I just, I can't wait, because we've only had one of these mangoes before. Huh. <laughs> and so, I mean, I'm in... Don't tell anybody when they get ripe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have my address in here. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. This is uh, Glenn. Oh, home run. Glenn, Glenn was the first real mango I ever had. Yeah. And I had it at my buddy's house. He lives in Eagle Lake right by us. Mm-hmm. And, um... That, I mean, that changed the mango game for us. Like, I yeah. was already putting... We were putting trees in the yard already. Yeah. And then, um... I basically... I had four mangoes, and I went from four mangoes to 20 mangoes. Like, basically. After having that one Glen, all I had was store mangoes. And I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, I like mangoes. Uh -huh. And I didn't know. Yeah. But I, I still like Glen. Glen's... I mean, it's... In yeah. In terms of, like, production and reliability, I... I'm sure there's another variety that's similar to it, but it's in the top of what I can think of. Look, and, man. And, like, disease resistance and everything. Because, like, a lot of these panicles have uh -huh. powdery mildew. Yeah. Like, pretty bad. And mm -hmm. I didn't spray them or anything, but mm -hmm. they got mangoes. Well, I tell you, this tree is loaded. It's absolutely mm -hmm. loaded. And um, 
Glenn is pushing to the top of uh, my list for starter trees because it's consistent. And when you bite into a Glenn, you know you got a real mango and you got a Florida mango. Man, this is awesome. Well, I tell you, I definitely like this back here. And I mean, this is our LSU purple fig. Okay. I think mm -hmm. this might be beautiful. maybe one of the only figs worth growing in Florida. I don't know. I have a couple I'm trying, but they don't do that well. They get the rust really bad and like yeah. most of their leaves just like fall off yeah. like prematurely. Right, 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 right. But I mean, that'll happen eventually with this one. But I mean, it, it'll stay throughout the whole season. But I mean, there's a ton of little figs on man here. it is loaded it is loaded yeah i know i don't know if these are gonna stay on here like yeah I, it's a bushy it's bushy for a fig i know a lot of people like the select one main branch that way it's a thick branch and they get like huge figs yeah but i'd rather have it bushy as well yeah yeah i mean yeah. i have no choice in my yard everything yeah. is got to be look bro I t well it's i want to tell y'all this is absolutely yeah. beautiful back here I absolutely love it. I'm grateful for the invitation to just have an opportunity to come back here. Yeah. This is amazing. This is this is a yard that I look forward to seeing oh, yeah. over the next couple of years, man. And how I this know look. everything everything was just twigs in the ground. Yeah, not even that long ago. And it's like, yeah, if you have property, it don't take long. If you have property, mm -hmm. you shouldn't wait. Yeah, if you have property, you shouldn't wait. Just go. Yeah, like, and do it. Like because now. I have been living here for three years. Yeah. And I got. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. Please. Well, this is the Orlando Gardener coming at you. And um, we're here. And, and this is amazing, y'all. I could live here in the backyard. They can just come visit. I walk the dog, clean up the poop. <laughs> and th th this is our kind of yard. And y'all know what I'm talking about. As I travel to different places in Florida, this yard. Let me tell y'all something. This yard is the epitome. This is just it's beautiful. It's perfect. So this is the Orlando Gardener coming at you. Uh, the video is getting a little long. Y'all have a good one.